Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to check transaction authorizations in ABAP. There are two ways to check this. First, we are a function module. Second, we are an object. Okay, so let's start with option one. I click on the button pattern and I use the function module authority check T code. Click on OK. And then I have here the function module and I pass here the transaction code which I want to check. And here I, I have to pass the transaction code in uppercase. This is important. So then let's uncomment the exceptions. And I write here a case statement. Case to super C. Then when one, then I write yes. So the check is okay. When two, then I write no. Then I don't have the permission. And when others, the state is unknown. So I write here, unknown. And end case. So let's click on pretty printer and activate the code and let's run the program. And so here we see I got an yes. So that means that my user, that my logged on user uh, has the permission. The next step is check with object. For this, I write authority check object and I want to check the uh, transaction code as well. So I write here the object s underscore t code. Then we need an ID and for the transaction code it's tcd. And last the field and this is the transaction code. So I write here SOST as well. And then after that, I check the sub RC. If it's zero, then all is okay. So I write here yes. And if it's not zero, then I don't have the permission, I don't have the authority. So I write here no. And and if. Then pretty print and activate the code. Then let's run the program. And we see here I got two yeses. So that means the check is positive. Yes, and with this code, a uh, developer can ensure that the user has the right uh, authorities to run the program or to run some transactions. Yes, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments. I always enjoy reading them. Until next time, thank you and see you soon.